We had the spokesman for Congressman Issa on air talk, uh, talking about what the oversight committee under Issa's leadership was going to do in hearing from leaders of business about how they thought regulations were were leading to a lack of hiring or hurting employment. Uh, and the listener writes on the air talk page in response to that, uh, the spokesman repeatedly referred to businesses as job creators. It's widely known the Republican spin machine instructs its membership to use certain terminology that either euphemizes or more often distorts, distorts reality. It presumes an action on the part of business that is not always true. When businesses lay off people in droves, do we refer to them as job destroyers? Well, it's an interesting point that the listener makes. However, I mean, what's clearly being stated by the spokesman for ISA is that businesses are what really create jobs, not government. I don't know that I agree with the listener's contention that this is devoid and detached from reality to call businesses job creators. To me, the framing terms and language that are used by the political parties and their representatives I don't see as as big an issue as a lot of a lot of people do, because I I think what you hear from both sides are oh well when they frame it in those terms that really obscures what they're talking about. On our program, I don't think that's true. We're getting to the heart of the issue. Whether it's Congressman Issa talking about regulations versus jobs, we dive into well is that really true? Do most regulations in fact impede hiring? Uh, can regulations be a spur to employment because businesses have to find new and creative ways of meeting the federal regulations. You know, as long as people are talking about the real issues, whatever you call it isn't particularly relevant. So I really, I take issue with those who are so caught up in the framing, who are so offended by the terms that people use, whether it's death taxes or anything else. You know, the, the point is, it's, it's about inheritance taxes, death taxes, whatever you want to call it, how much you're going to tax a person after they die. That's the issue. As long as you're talking about the issue, the terms are irrelevant.